day friends I am back with my Ender 3 and I did this modification where this piece slides on and we can extrude from the top down. I added this little bearing so that it has a uh, sweeter path. So this morning on YouTube I had a user EcoMouse say hey what happens if you just turn the extruder 90 degrees so it's shooting straight down. So I'm over here to check that out. So when I first did this mod the problem was I did not have enough length on the cable to make that happen. And the problem I faced was I brought the cable around here and I couldn't get the extra length and I hadn't untangled it. Um, if you do want to try and get enough cable so that it can go down, you need to get the little bracket in the groove. And the only way I could get the bracket in the groove was to manually move the x-axis up so that you could bend it a little bit and squeeze it through and now I've got enough length that I can rotate this 90 degrees and we can see what it's like to print straight down let's give it a go ah note to self if you're gonna do this make sure you remember to take off the filament I'm gonna fire up the end quick and I'm gonna remove my filament uh, before I continue. Alright, so with my filament heated, I'm going to just push a little bit of filament through and then we can pull the filament out. And that's how I always remove my filament. Usually I'm able to squeeze this, but because of this mod I had already taken it off. You can see that it gives you the nice little lump at the end so you're pretty sure you've got a clean extruder, which is nice for the next time when you put it in. Rotate that around 90 degrees and refasten it in. I guess this gives us a chance to look at the design too. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, it just scooches in. It's got that exact same hole. These all line up nice and nifty. Um, I'm going to want to slide this over more. I'm going to slide the uh, filament a bit. And now let's attach her up. All right, and now our filament can go straight down into the extruder. Let's see what it's like to add filament. Snip off that end squeeze try and get some my hands are out of the way there it goes and push a little bit of filament through and we're good to go for testing I don't think I'm gonna need this at all so I'll just leave it over here make sure that my cable still reaches and it does that'll affect how far you want to pull it over see that stretched about as far as I want it to go this should be able to climb all the way up without interfering but that is really uh, as far as I can go with it alrighty friends so I have got it printing my cool little domino train that I modified from Thingiverse and uh, we'll check back and see what it looks like in a bit uh, thank you very much for watching if you think there's something I should be doing better let me know in the comments below uh, the only reason we did this was because somebody mentioned it. Uh, thank you very much, Eco Mouse. I appreciate that again. Uh, if you like the movie, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, if you want to be the first to know when there's a new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Have a great day, friends.